Hey, hi developers. I'm Shahin Shah. I'm back with an another video for Windows 10 application development. In my previous video, I have said you about uh, how to create the first uh, application for uh, Windows 10 with the help of an uh, App Studio. So AppStudio.Windows.com is a tool uh, with which you can uh, develop an application without any coding knowledge so we have developed an uh, application in app studio you can check out my other video how i did that so once you have developed an application with the app studio you have to deploy it to the windows store so that the customers can go to the store and download it so how to do that i will explain that in this video you have to have a developer account in microsoft.com so the url here is So developer.microsoft.com is the website where you have to go and you have to sign in. So once you are signed in, go to the dashboard. If you have already an app, you can just go ahead and uh, do uh, submission for your app. If you don't have an app, create a new app. So you can create a new app. Let me say HoloLens. Development. Yes, this app name is available. I'm going and reserve app name. So now you have reserved an app name which you can be using directly with the same title in the Windows Store. Once you are uh, ready, you can go ahead and start submission. But in this video, I'm going to show you my other app which I have already started uh, submission. So this is my app which I have built. I have built an app called Islamic Apps and uh, with the help of a app studio and you yeah, I, uh, I have uh, shown you how to generate the installables for this app in my other video. So you can go back and check out those videos so that you will be familiar with how to get the published packages. So once you get the published packages, download the published package and then go to, go to the developer console. In the developer console, so you have to go ahead and start submission so you have to go to submissions tab so here you will be able to see a submission or if you are doing it fresh you will be able to see the screen so first thing is you have to give the pricing and availability i'm going to make this as free app and for free apps no trial is required if you are going to uh, make your app as a paid one you have to select the amount you need to give it to the customer so i'm doing it as free and i don't have a free trial and my app will be available in 242 markets and here you can see an option called uh, distribution visibility and other stuff i'm keeping all other as a default but i would be changing this windows 10 device families so by default it will be a desktop and mobile app but i want to make this app available for hololens device as well so hololens is a microsoft device currently available only to the developers so i want to make this app even available for the hololens device so give a check mark to hololens holographic and keep this as default publish this uh, submission as soon as it passes the certification so what is certification so certification is a process where microsoft will test your application for uh, different uh, checks if your application passes all those checks it will be sub it will take your submission and it will be posted in the windows store if the certification fails then your you will get a notification saying certification failed with, along with the log so with in the log it will be clearly said with what issue your certification was failed and how to fix it but if you have developed an app with app studio and i can say that 99 percent you won't get a certification issue if uh, apps developed with app studio so i'm going ahead and clicking on save
so pricing and availability is done I'm going to add properties so my category would be references education books plus reference so hardware preference it doesn't require any hardware preference my app doesn't require any hardware preference if you have a touch screen app or if you have a bluetooth app then you have to select those kind of hardware preferences i'm keeping this default i'm giving it save i have just selected the category next age ratings I'm ready to take the age ratings and go ahead and check out which type of app it is my app is referential it does not contain any violence it does not contain sexuality it does not control substance so I'm selecting all as no because my app doesn't have any of such So now uh, it will show the certificate, age certification. Just go ahead and click continue. So you will get a certification, uh, age certificate to your email as well. So now go to go to the packages. In the download, I have my package. So I am giving this package, which I have got it from App Studio. Oh. I should have clicked on browse not save so let me go back again to packages click on browse and give the path where you have your apex upload file apex upload file will be uh, this is the file which I have got from uh, app studio so windows store apps are not dot exe they are apex files so once it is uploaded it will validate and once the validation is successful you can just give okay so I can give a save So everything is fine you should be seeing the check marks so pricing is complete app properties is complete age ratings is complete packages is complete and now go to the app description so app description it is very very important for people the customers to come to your app so give a proper description release notes and screenshots everything properly so that people can once they see your app they will be able to download it so this also plays a major role in uh, searching store searchings as well so let me go ahead and give some kind of description i'll be changing this anyway in the next uh, in my in my next releases so i'm just giving a light description and other things here so my description So if you have a screenshot it is highly recommended so you to add the desktop screenshot and here he has given the suggestions it should be less than 2 MB and it should be of uh, so and so pixels so you sh if you have selected all the three desktop mobile and holographic please give the screenshots for now I am skipping this section and give the app features my app features So 
so give the app features and there are no recommended hardware so give the keywords this is very very important with this keywords needs to be filled so that while people searching in the store the uh, microsoft is using these keywords for searching so i would recommend filling this uh, keywords If you have an application a website URL, give the website URL and you are supposed to give the support email. These are not mandatory. I go ahead and I am giving a save. So my application description details are done. It is showing it as incomplete. So go back and check out what is incomplete so it is asking at least one screenshot for uh, mobile and desktop so let me go ahead and grab a quick uh, screenshot if the sizes are different it won't accept so you have to give the perfect size So now it is done. I am giving a save. You have to see the green check mark. If there is no green check mark, it should be it will be incomplete and you can't proceed. Now it is a green check mark. Now it is ready. And notes for certification. If your application needs a login and if your uh, if your uh, application has complex tasks, then for certification reasons, they need to know what additional things needs for your application so that they can test the application before posting it into this store for example your application needs a registration needs a login and other kinds of stuff those details needs to be given in the certification notes but my application doesn't have any certification notes so i am going ahead and giving a submit Uh, my application is submitted so once this pre-processing certification release and publishing is done it will take 16 hours but uh, to my experience it is taking more than 24 hours to get the application out there on the windows store so whenever uh, now once after 24 hours i can go ahead and have a look at the store if i give islamic apps in the search you will i will be able to get this application isn't it simple so get an application windows 10 application from a website with the help of uh, appstudio.windows.com and then create a developer profile in developer.microsoft.com and create a windows 10 application so windows 10 is going to be a big success and check out my other videos where i have uh, given how to make an ap application without coding with the uh, app studio and also i have made many other uh, series of videos for hololens check out thank you